Good morning class. In the previous lesson, we have learned about an ecosystem that it is also known as ecological system, a community of living and non-living that work on together. An ecosystem is a community of living things where plants animals and microorganisms live together and in conjunction with the non-living components of the environment which includes air water and mineral soil The term ecology was coined by Ernest Haeckel in 1869. Ecology is the study of ecosystems. The functions of the ecosystem are as follows. Habitat functions. Ecosystem provide habitat to wild plants and animals thus also helping us to conserve biological and genetic diversity. Production function It helps in the production of wide range of goods, ranging from food to raw material. So, it also helps in the production of wide range of goods, ranging from food to raw material. Now, let us understand the structure of ecosystem. Ecosystem consists of living or biotic components, which includes producer, consumers and decomposers. The consumers have been divided into three types. They are herbivores, carnivores, omnivores and the last one is detrivorous. Next one is non-living abiotic component which includes two components. They are physical components and chemical components. So once again structure of ecosystem. They are of two types, biotic and abiotic. So biotic includes three things. Three Three types they are producer, consumers, and decomposers. Now, consumers are of four types that includes herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, and tetivores. Non living biotic components include two components physical components and chemical components. Now, today let us understand about biotic components. Different Living components, organisms, constitute the biotic components of an ecosystem. This refers to large forms such as trees or mammals. There are various mammals but I have given an example of the largest one. That is an elephant. Small it just and it not only includes home for life forms, large life forms, but also includes small life forms. So small life forms such as insects, algae, and 
are microscopic like foams, such as bacteria. So, once again, biotic components, different living components, organisms, constitute the biotic components of an ecosystem. This refers to large life forms such as trees or mammals. Small life forms such as insects, algae and microscopic life forms. So today, in today's class, we have learned about the important uh, feature that is the structure of an ecosystem. It includes two parts that is biotic and abiotic and different subtypes have been given. We have also come to know about the functions of the ecosystem, the habitat functions. It provides habitat to wild plants and animals. This helps to conserve or they help to conserve biological and genetic diversity. And the second function is production function. It helps in the production of wide range of goods, ranging from food to raw materials. So class, this is all we'll be learning for today.